a completely hands-free experience from RealWear. Free your hands. Finally, um, machines like this and a lot of equipment you have all over your brewery have a lot of documentation. And uh, no doubt when something goes wrong, you have to have to go find that documentation or find the process or find the procedure. How do you do that today? You know, it's pretty embarrassing, actually. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, we keep all the documentation in file cabinets pretty loose. You know, we get, we install a new piece of equipment, we'll take the documentation, we'll toss it into a drawer, as you see here. That's pretty bad. I know a lot of you guys don't do that, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, what if it breaks? Now we've got to go dig it out and find it. And or worst case, the guy stops his job, he's got to go on the internet, or he's got to make a phone call, try to find a PDF, try to find a white paper. And in some cases where we even built the machine ourselves, we have to like go back through our notes and drawings. Most of the stuff isn't digital, it's napkin stuff. And so I think that really in looking at what Sanjay is offering, it's a true solution to fix that problem. Chris, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Sanjay. Hi, this is your roving reporter once again in the back of the brewery. So, Chris, I think you were looking at that bottling machine before, and I, and I know you fixed it the one time, but, you know, I, I think it's ti about time that you kind of learned how that panel worked. So, uh, you know, do you know where the manual for that panel is? I think it's somewhere in the filing cabinet, or maybe, maybe there's something that will help you. Do you have a barcode there? Scan bookmark. There we go. That's user error, I'm afraid. Okay, I'm looking at the barcode. Accept. How does that, oh, I recognize that. Have you seen that before, Chris? Yeah, that's the thing I was pressing earlier. If only I would had instructions, it would have been great. So he had instructions because he had a remote expert to help him. But the other way he could have got instructions is ran the barcode. And now he's looking at the exact diagram of how to operate that touch screen on that complicated machine. Once again, it took him about five or six seconds to get that. He's on a very specific, you can see that he's zoomed into level two of five, which turns out to be the right zoom level for this diagram. Chris, can you control document and zoom out? Control document. Yeah, let's uh, have a look. I can look around it. Zoom level three, freeze document. So Chris is able to zoom in, just using his head, he hasn't used his hands once. He's able to, with his voice, look at any specific part of that document. Can you see the whole page, Chris? Can you go zoom to, to zoom level one? Zoom level one. As you can see, this diagram was not the whole document, right? We're looking at just the lower half of the page. So what we did was we created that bookmark, that QR code, based on a coordinates of a specific document, specific page, and a zoom level, so that we framed that exact diagram that was useful for that moment. So, small example of the productivity of things. Chris, thanks very much. Thank you. See you later. So let me describe what was going on there. The document navigation service is a, uh, built in the RealWare cloud, and in fact, the RealWare cloud is in the center of this diagram. And uh, that cloud doesn't store all the documents. Uh, what that cloud is doing is storing the metadata about the documents. It is in fact storing the bookmarks, and it is connected to multiple cloud services. In fact, the demo that we just saw, those two documents were in box. Right? So the two documents that we got from Chris's filing account, actually we went online and we found the PDF. And then we created, um, we put them in a box account. So what you see here is, is a, uh, a, a, a number of different uh, uh, bookmarks that have been created. And in fact, you know, we've got one storage service configured um, it's box, and uh, you can see that uh, using the box API and the security key, we're able to actually set up box as one of our services. That's the first one we've got done here. Um, however, uh, if I go back to bookmarks, we can see a number of bookmarks that we created. The ones we just looked at was this one, right? The, uh, the bottling machine manual, you can see that there's a path, there's a URL, there's a page number, there's a zoom level, et cetera. Now, I can um, actually go back uh, and, and look at a, a new one. So this is the Master Standard Operating Procedure Manual for the Brewery. It's like a 46-page document 
that uh, is, uh, basically covers all the procedures that they, they use to run the operations here. And we can see that this document is also um, in our, uh, actually this one is local, it's actually on the SD card of the HMT, it could equally be in box. Um, it, uh, the uh, bookmark has is, is already been generated here for this one, I can edit it. I can uh, give it a, um, a more friendly name, Caustic Handling Procedure. I can give it a page number, which I believe is 46, a zoom level, which I think was two, and coordinates on the page. It is our intention to be able to give you a preview and let you actually point to the document at this point as opposed to entering coordinates. We don't quite have that implemented yet and submit. And so now that bookmark changed slightly, you probably can't tell, unless you can read QR codes. Uh, but it's now pointing to the very specific page number and uh, very specific uh, coordinates. And uh, we are ready, okay. Thank you. Am I mirror casting? <coughs> okay. Reactivate the voice recognition by pressing the button. Okay, so now this is what I'm seeing. You're seeing what I'm seeing, my files. Scan bookmark. Accept. Look, the caustic handling procedure for the brewery. That was a new one we just added. Thanks very much.